What's good to YouTube, and welcome to the house. Let's talk about the curious case of super polymerization. John, get to the Megaton cards, it's Megaton time. That's at the end of the video, I'll be going over my thoughts briefly. I get so many people are vested and their eyes are glued on the Megatons, but the market waits for no man and there's so many other things going on. So with super polymerization, there's currently not a copy under $20, except for a couple sellers on the commons from the Cyber Dragon Revolution structure deck. And this is because these are still on shelves right now so you can make a quick buck actually finding these at walmart target ripping them open selling the super poly get a little extra cash on top of what you just spent and have yourself a cyber dragon core ah top tier puns that being said dual power has this guaranteed coming out its price is destined to crash on all versions except maybe the secret rares and people are after those for a similar price to the supers from ots pack which just recently came out showing the demand with super poly at three for how many people are clamoring for this card so Using my TCG player link in the description down below, this is the cheapest price I've found shipped on Dual Devastator, and you can support the channel directly by using my link when buying this product. I think I would be selling this right now if I have any extra copies. Now, if your deck uses super polymerization and it's kind of vital to your strategy, or it's a very good tool for you, it wins you a lot of games, keep it. I get the price is destined to crash, but if you're playing in regionals, YCSs, competitive events, you're kind of stuck with it. There's three YCSs leading up into the FNL list, the no sooner than expiring, and Dual Devastator itself, a one-two punch coming in mid-October. I think that you'll want your super polys up through those events if you're playing them and the other good news is super polymerization targets are just so cheap looking at starving venom fusion dragons maybe people will be after the max rarities first editions more than ever when super poly is in everybody's hands but i doubt it because you'd be after max rarity super poly in the first place right uh, fist of the gadgets just gave us a super rare it is nice and cheap what else is nice and cheap? Mud Dragon out of the Megatons. We see Metal Foes Crimsonite, and there's quantities to match. And this is the highest rarity one. There's also the common. These are highest rarity copies of what people would be after, and they are just not expensive at all. I believe Drago Nether Soul for the zombie players also got a recent reprint. All is good in the world when it comes to super polymerization targets. Konami's even ahead of the game on this one. So let me know if there's any kind of more unique ones you think will see heavy play that I might have missed. But so far, everything's really awesome when you're going for super poly stuff now tcg player did have that eight percent bonus buck sale earlier in the weekend it affects a lot of things that are more staple-ish infinite and permanent secret rare up towards 82 dollars on the platform and we see infinite and permanent ultra rares 44 this is why i tell you to always shop both even though it supports me to use that link down below infinite and permanence over here there's plenty of 40 dollar copies all over ebay that's saving yourself 10 percent on this card maybe there was a point where that eight percent bonus bucks back was worth it on tcg player or people just added it to their cart to, for the end of the sale well it's it's much cheaper over here because of those quantities that people were waiting for whenever there's a sale people tend to just grab at things they've been wanting because now is the time Here's a curious little price I didn't know. Borogar Dragon's a $5 card. I didn't know this one at all. It's terrible. Uh, yeah, it has an effect of bringing back a monster from the graveyard. If it was destroyed and sent there this turn. Ah. Oh, yeah. It can also target a monster and change it to defense position. I feel like Boral Sword does that also. This is completely terrible i i get that it's an anime revolver card i would still be getting rid of this i think at one point it will get reprinted just because it's a revolver card but uh i see no use in keeping this around and we see it's around 430 450 on ebay as well now a card that i did expect to go up over time another revolver card is topologic bomber dragon at ten dollars about over here on tcg player with only one page the fallout is much nicer on ebay where we see 640 which is kind of its old price 750 750 and it does somewhat quickly rise in my opinion orcas can play this i don't see a lot of boards end on this from the better orcas players though i do think there is a sense of i've got to get all the revolver cards now the structure decks out but 
really, uh, you know, it's... I expected to go up over time slowly, but I didn't expect to be at an anime clamor for these kinds of cards, you know? Now let's talk about a sellout for a good cause. September 11th, I'm doing a charity live stream, and it'll be for the DFW Canines for Veterans. They source their canines mostly from kill shelters, so they're last chance doggos, so you're saving dogs, you're helping injured veterans from either PTSD mentally or also physical injuries and service doggos are like one of the top levels of having to train dogs so so much money goes into that and it's two things I'm passionate about dogs and the people who serve this country so please do join that charity live stream on September 11th and it would mean a lot I'll have a bunch of special guests like last year's charity live stream I'll be uh, really working hard to get you guys original prizes for those donating so from my sponsors to get Give back to you guys who are giving i know a lot of people don't give because of that but uh this is a cause i'm passionate about and i think this is a really good organization world legacy guard dragons back to its normal price normal by the way eleven dollars we have a couple sellers very cheap and you look at how quickly it lines up on tcg player after the fall this is why i suggest did shopping the megatons from TCG player after the first, you know, little bit of a weekend of Fallout, because we see over on eBay, look at these, the cheapest copies, 14, 15. Fallout is always way slower on eBay, and TCG player gets much more competitive if it's not because of one of their own sales. So we see combo pieces getting really valued lately. Brotar still holding a $15 price point, and if you watch the FTK duel on the channel, you see that so you can actually use Orcas to search Cannon Soldier. It's so toxic. I love it, but I also hate it. But we do see that... It, it somewhat uh, quickly rises over on eBay too. So if you're thinking about combo pieces, uh, it's a it's a nice time to see that this has fallen back down. And if you were one of those people complaining, wow, it's 20, it's way too expensive. Here you go, half the price once again, very, very quickly. This is why when I talk about the Cali Effect segment or even my own market watch, it's important to note what happens a couple of weeks later after that initial spike from the information. I still think World Legacy Guard Dragon has a higher ceiling than 11 to $12 as a combo piece. I think it's a very, very great card and it's from Savage Strike, so we're not gonna see a reprint for it until potentially March, whenever we get whatever the next dual power or Kaiba collection is. And if it misses that, then we're, a long time without it maybe battles of legend long which was after the wcq this year ah megatons what everybody wants to talk about boral sword is sitting at 14 that is very very pretty like i said these high quantity sellers are going to cause a very very big focal point on cards like this because they're paying 1050 to 11 dollars for the 10 packing one of these means their promos were free all the extra juice was free whatever else they pulled was free they're going to want to sell cards cheap and this year there's nothing at the 20 dollar price point like years past because the promos are so much money for these vendors jackalope is one of the first original cards that has spiked in price just over this weekend it's the most wanted danger because well nessie and snake are super available and this is one of the only dangers in prismatic secret that are wanted to play in meta decks uh, so I don't think this is the biggest surprise. I even said in the last market watch, I think this has the highest single uh, ceiling for singles of dangers out of the megatons. But wow, I did not expect to see this with the quantities that are still on market. Call by the Grave still falling now at nine dollars. I think it will fall under the dangers and probably meet about where Trap Trick is and price towards five dollars eventually. But then it will go up from there. And it is kind of ridiculous to think, well. Man, the super sat at six forever, John. Why would this go down to five or six dollars? Well, there's such a quantity of these on market versus the amount of players gobbling them up. I think that it's kind of destined to fall down towards that price point. But this could also be the bottom out and people could clamor for it. There's some very deep pockets. People going after the Megatons, buying 100k worth, 15k worth over on MCole40's channel. Like, there's so many different deep pockets with the Megatons that... With them having so many singles invested, they might try to kind of wipe things off of market despite the high quantities. We see Nessie and Suchinoko. I, I couldn't have called this. I, I thought Snake would have been worth more than Nessie just from the memes alone. But, uh, you know, the price points just 
valuing, fluctuating, people trying to make their money back on the tins. And Trap Trick hanging in there around $5.50 if you find other... No, no, this is a 99 cent shipping. Yeah, $5.50 for this card. And then the Thunder Dragons are the first things kind of starting to rise up just a little out of the tins and go up in price. A lot of people still want this deck despite uh, Nibiru. You have Dark Ruler no more. But combo decks are well and alive. The more that Nibiru gets played, the worse that it gets. And it's a side deck card, so... It most people aren't going to be main decking it because they don't want to run into a deck like Altergeist or Sky Striker. They can just stop on a dime and not get Nibiru the entire time. So, since those are side deck cards, Thunder Dragon does seem to be doing okay, and we'll see how it does in the metagame. And Sky Striker is still cheap, but I think seeing the prices already start to settle and waver... I would start to get my stuff sooner than later. I wouldn't wait. And let's talk about what was missing in the Megatons. Levianir, still staying stable around that $35 to $40 range. And Mech Knight of Morningstar is something I have my eye on. A lot of top duelists on Dueling Book are playing Mech Knight engines. And it's very interesting to watch because whatever is rumbling on Dueling Book tends to leak out into the metagame. I've even seen Mech Knight Mirrors on stream. It's crazy. So I would actually make sure I have a copy or two of Mech Knight of Morningstar considering he's missing from the tens and hasn't gone up already. And the Mech Knight engine, actually, looking through this, uh, I thought I had the tab open. Sorry, like editing done done quick and cheap by john moore uh the mech knight engine is pretty much cheaper than ever with purples easily accessible at five dollars and blues also even cheaper uh we see 250 unlim and we see three dollar copies from the megatons so you can get your mech knights shifty boy dollars just so so cheap and even cheaper if you're already shopping from these sellers so maybe check out the cards whenever you are shopping to get that free shipping combined with your order that being said thank you so much for watching today's market watch i'll be live streaming tonight sunday 7 central as always and bonus stream wednesday will be a tabletop with billy break opening sealed product playing constructing decks and maybe a little uh pass format tabletop after depending on the live stream so join for that as well and like i said set set that alarm noon central september 11th please join us it will be a 12-hour stream and i think it's uh for a pretty good cause thanks for watching everybody